you. All right. I didn't do Victoria. So this week we will uh, go a bit behind to do much more than we did last week. And so um, we will look at um, music from the perspective of what music is really is. As we are learning music, we are we really need to start from the scratch. So that at the end of the meeting, at the end of the time, you will be able to stand tall and uh, defend yourself, defend your ministry. The Bible says, I think in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, it says, um, a workman, study, uh, study to show study. yourself approved unto God. You know, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So um, it is very, very important that whatever we find doing, we must do it well. So we'll start with the definition of music. We need to ask ourselves what truly is music. And so um, I will define it this way. Define it this way, then I will show you a clip, right? So you can take it down. Uh, music is a form of art that uses sound organized in time. Music is a form of art that uses sound organized in time. Music is also a form of entertainment that puts sounds together in a way that people like or that people find interesting or dance to. I take it again. Music is a form of art that uses sound organized in time. Music is also a form of entertainment that puts sounds together in a way that people like, find interesting, or dance to. Most music includes people singing with their voices or playing musical instruments, such as the piano, guitar, drum, or violin. And so the Word music comes from the Greek word musik, M O U S I K E, musik, which means art of the muses. All right? So, this is um, one of the ways to define music. Actually, you cannot uh, exhaust the definition of music. Now, you can also say that music is a combination of sounds that make sense all right you look it you look at this um music is an art and a science art and science now when you talk of art the arts in music is the the doing the performing well when we are singing we are doing the art we are in the art of music when a musician is on the stage performing, or those that are drumming, beating instruments, playing guitars, playing keyboard, that is the art. Now, the science part of it is the knowing, and that is what we are doing now. You know, it is an art and it's a science. And so the science part of music is the one we are trying to get into now, the knowing of music. As a, a matter of fact, it then means that you cannot be a proper musician if you don't know music well. You cannot say to be very vast in what you are doing if you don't have proper knowledge of what you're doing. You know, it's like uh, somebody who told me a story of a, a certain man who came to our village and is parading himself as a doctor. He performs surgery. You know, he was a nurse in a, a particular hospital. You know, he has observed how people, doctors, perform surgical operations. And so he left the township where he would be noticed and came to our village and began to operate on people. And you know, that, that kind of a person one day is an accident that it was bound to happen. He will kill people. You know, so somehow somebody who knew him bumped in on him and said, ah, ah, when have you become a doctor? You know, he just found out 
he saw people doing the art, but there are things about that um, business that he didn't really know. But he thought everything ends with just the art. So while we, we talk of, of music, when we know music, uh, so many of us will enjoy it, you know? So music is an art. Remember that, don't forget it, please. Music is an art, is also a science. And the art part of it is when we climb the stage to perform. And the science part of it is knowing music, like we are trying to know it. So uh, it's the combination of certain sounds in nature which produce some pleasant effects on the senses of the hearer. I take it again. It is the combination of create of certain sounds in nature which produces a pleasing effect on the sense of the one that is listening to the sound you're producing. Now, why it must be, why it must be, please permit me to answer some of us that are calling me, they couldn't enter, please. Hello? What, what did you do? What did you do that is telling you, wait, wait, wait? Because I, I, can, I can't see you here. I can only see Ngozimba. I can't see you. Okay. Oh, yeah, try again. Try again, please. Just try again. Sister, try again. I'm already in the class. No need for us to argue. Just try again. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Where is he doing it? Praise God. Um, I was, uh, okay, we we're talking about production of sounds. You know why this, the sound must make sense is that if you drop the doctor, talking about the doctor. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, okay, and I moved from there now to this, the production of sound that must make sense. That sound that must make sense is in this form because every sound doesn't make sense. If you own your, your generator, your generator is making sound, you know? And in a way, the sound of a very good generator is very consistent. If you add combination of good sounds that is also consistent with that, the tempo of that generator, it will give you some kind of, of you know, pleasant sound that somebody can dance to. Now, but you can drop your plate on the floor and it will make bagam. That is a sound, but it's not coordinated. And if it is not coordinated, it is not music. It doesn't make sense. So music is not just a sound, but it is a combination of sounds that has a pleasing effect on the ears of the person or persons listening to music. OK? So um, we have talked about it being an art and being a, a science. Okay, so um, going back, let me show you this. Let me share this with you so that if you, were, if you didn't copy it the other time, you can now copy. You didn't copy the other time. Let me, let me share this screen with you. Somebody says you can't hear me. You can't hear me. You didn't join in well. All right, I want to share my screen with you now. So here, um, this was the definition I gave you earlier on. Music is a form of art that uses sound organized in time. Music is also a form of entertainment. So you can put this down, please. While I take in this call, I know I will take today. Hello. The connection is bad. Please have you. 
you must have taken this in so that I can move on. So um, going on from there, we have talked about the sound of music that has been organized by using the melody or harmony. You know, like I said, if, if you bang your plates on, on the floor, it gives you a certain sound, but it is not, it is not called a very good sound, it is noise. So if you bang your saucepan or pot in a rhythmic way, now that same plate that you have, you begin to hit it with your spoon. Bang, 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 like we do as we were younger, you will see it begin to produce some kind of, of, um, of sounds that, that make sense. So combination of regular sounds produces music. Oh God. So um, let, let, let's take a little look at the history of music, just few of it. We have a prehistoric music that is before people came to write music, people began to write music. That is prehistoric. And then you have ancient, ancient music. The ancient music is the music when people have started writing and this was before 350 uh 350 AD okay then uh you have medieval music which was about between 350 AD to 1400 AD they have renaissance music that came up between 1400 to 1600 AD then i will go straight down to uh the classical period the classical period is in Western, means in Western music. The classical period means music from about 1750 to 1825. It was the time of composers like Joseph Hedin, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and Ludwig van Beethoven. Orchestras became bigger and composers often wrote longer pieces of music called symphonies. Now we are learning music and the, most as it has to do with us, we want to learn how to read music. Now, the, the, you know, in the Renaissance, roughly around 1400 to 1550, there was a lot of music and many composers wrote, wrote music that has survived so that it can be performed, played or sung today. The name for this period, the Renaissance, is a French word, which means rebirth. This people was called the rebirth because many new types of art and music were reborn during this time. Now, so it's, it means that, they, they, you know, there was a time when people just, they, perform, they did music, but they were not able to, and those music that were done in those days, majority of them were lost, okay? So it came to a, a point where people now began to learn the art of writing music. They would do, they would write it down, and the essence of writing it down is for... Um, others to be able to look at it and be able to perform the music. Remember that music is an art. It's an art. If you don't know the science part of the music, you cannot uh, you know, do or perform the music written by another person. Hold on, please. Just bear with me. These are people that are not uh, able to. Hello, Sister Hope. OK. Okay, okay, let, 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 let me admit to you, let me admit to you. Um, well. Praise the Lord. So, uh, please, sorry for that. Uh, we will express something like that until we, we came to perfection. Now, so, um, people where they wrote music, that didn't survive, but uh, it was as you know, as time began to mature, that people began to learn the art of writing music, the art of doing, oh my God, the art of doing music and writing music. Hello. Huh? Uh, Adam. Uh, good evening. Let 
Mano, eu só vi isso. Ok, chega um bocho de azuma. Uma bocho de azuma mexe a mim, não na zoom class, não. Hello, brethren. Um, in case this thing locks off, just re reconnect because um, the we've not been able to to do the subscription, so it will go off any any moment from in the next ten minutes. So in case if it goes off, just come back again. All right. Let me go back to what I, I was saying. Uh, the the many calls are, are coming in too much. So the ability to write music and to, to perform it is what we are actually looking at. So we have looked at some, some ages. We have the ancient times when, when people, uh, that would be 350, but there were time, prehistoric time when music was not written. So any music that was written that time, all of them were lost until people learn how to write music. So uh, that will now take us to what we did last week you know since we have been able to define what music is all about now so it will take us properly back to what we did last time and what we did last time was staff notation and staff notation is basically what is being used today in our present time to write music Staff notation is what we use this time around today in writing music. Okay, uh, I, I wouldn't know how it was written the, before we were born. I wouldn't know how it was written, but people eventually mastered the art of writing music. But we, we know today that the system we use today, we have two systems. We have the one that was invented by the Britons that was also advanced by the Italians and uh, uh, the Americans came and added one or two things. But as far as this class is concerned, we are not going to be talking about the American's way of writing, which is the shape notes uh, way of writing. We are going to concentrate purely on the English way of writing. Please, if you, if you understand me up until this point, Okay, somebody said that the write-up is so tiny to be seen. Okay, sorry, uh, I, will, I will take care of that. Somebody said that I am... You can tap on it and, and uh, spread it, enlarge it. Yes, yes. Somebody said that... I I... Yeah, okay, sir. Somebody said I am yeah. fast. Okay, was I really too fast? Okay. Yes. Maybe... All right. Sorry about that. Okay, but sorry, then... So let me interrupt you a little bit. Sister Choma Duru has been trying to come in. Said each time she tried, uh, she will get a message that says that says that you will soon let her in, and she will yes. wait for her and nothing will happen. Uh, she she should be. keep trying. I'm I'm actually admitting them in, but if if she, if she doesn't do the right thing, she will remain in that waiting room. Like I have six now. So I'm, I'm admitting them. I'm admitting them. Okay. So with the distractions I'm having here now. Sorry about that. No, no, not really your distraction. The phone call is coming in. Okay. I think I've admitted everybody in. Everybody's in. So please sir, tell, tell her to try again. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So um, you know, like I said, don't forget if this goes off, please just Come back again. Use the same link. Uh, come back again. Sister Anne, I can see you. Uh, God bless you. You're able to come in today. All right. So for the person that said I was too fast, I don't know if I should recap what I did before. Okay. Um, let me just run over what I did before. We defined music. And we were able to... I was able to... Uh, to tell you one or two things about music, let me repeat myself again. Okay, I started by saying that music is a form of art that uses sound 
organized in time. Music is also a form of entertainment that puts sounds together in a way that people like, find interesting, or dance to. Most music includes people singing with their voices or playing musical instruments such as a piano, guitar, drums, or violin. And I said that the word music came from the Greek word mousike, which is spelled as M-O-U-S-I-K-E, which means the art of the, of the muses. Now, this muses actually is an ancient Greece that includes some form of uh, idolatry, goddesses of music, but I don't want to go into that. And so I also brought in another uh, modern definition because the kind of definition we've been having before used to be that music is just combination of sounds. But it is not just combination of sounds, it's combination of sounds that make sense. If you just call it combination of sounds, you know, um, it won't be real. And so we said that music is an art and a science. Okay, let me share this with you. Maybe the person that said the other one was too tiny should be able to copy this one. Okay, let me share this with you. So can you see can you see this one now? Music is an art and a science. The part of it that is an art is the part of doing it. Doing it is the 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 performing the performance, like when we sing it, or when you see a drummer drum or a guitarist play, a pianist play. He is 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 performing. Now. Musicians do performance. Uh, singers, when they sing, they are performing. That is the art. That is the doing part of it. Now, we have the science part of it. And this science part of it is the knowledge, the knowing of music. And this knowing is, um, is what we have come here to acquire. The knowledge now is what we've come here to, to gain. That is the science part of music. So music is an art. Music is a science. The art is the, is the doing, the singing, the, the, the orchestrating, the beating, the using of instrumentation, the, you know, the voicing it. That is the art. The science is the knowledge. So that is what we are doing now. So, and it is the combination of, of certain sounds in, in a nature which produces a pleasing or a pleasant effect on the senses of those hearing it. And these sounds must be produced you know, on, on a regular basis. They must be regular. The, the sounds must be regular, consistent. Like I said, if you bang your saucepan on the floor, it will make a sound, but that is not the correct sound. Now, so here we are, we are, we are looking at music. So if you're writing, you just copy this down, you know? So I was saying that time that uh, production of sounds alone does not make a music a music. Production of sound, the sound must be produced in a way that it makes sense. It must make sense. You know, um, ch children can make noise and shout anyhow. That is not a very good sound. But we have seen people who use their voices without instrumentation. They use their voice to form all, all kinds of musical instruments. And it, it must be regular. The, the, reg the regularized uh, sound, you know, 
is called music. It must be more than just a sound. It must produce something that uh, is pleasant to the ear. I want to believe that we have written this down. Music is an art and a science. Art is the doing part of it. Science is the knowing part of it. And it is the combination of certain sounds in nature which produces constant effect upon the sense or the senses of those hearing it. And these sounds must be regular. Their vibration must be suitable, you know, uh, to the person or persons listening to the sound. So having said this, I took us down the memory lane. I talked about the 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 art of writing when music actually began, and we we looked at starting um, when music began. You know, we looked at this, and I I told us that we had we had this times you know um there was there was a time we call um, the prehistoric time yeah, let me let me take it again not doing this because of some persons that said i was too fast prehistoric time was before people began to write music and so i was trying to point out the fact that that means that most of the music written at this point in time, this prehistoric time, we are lost because it was only known to those that were around within the time it was it was written. I mean, it was uh, done, it was composed, that lent it who could only perform it. And, may, and they died. So once they died, their music work also died along with them. Okay? Now, and then uh, we now had ancient music and the ancient times, it is not actually known what the earliest music of the cave people was like. Some architecture, uh, even some paintings are thousands of years old, but old music could not survive until people learned to write it down. Now, what this means is that some houses, some ancient mud houses, you know, we are able to survive time. You know, but some most ancient music could not survive because people could not their uh, uh, their composers were not able to write it down then, and so they lost this music. And so now we had the this ancient times. We had the Middle Age times, and we had a uh, uh, um, uh, this which was between 4, 450 to fourteen twenty. And we had uh, um, Renaissance music, and uh, Renaissance music is uh, Renaissance music is music in European written about the year 1400 to 1600. And this section of time is called the Renaissance, a word which means rebirth. The Renaissance comes between the Middle Ages and the Baroque times. So there are so many of them. And so we, we looked at the classical period of music, and uh, this was the time that uh, we had people like uh, Mozart and the rest. You know, the classical period is the time from about 1750 to 1820, when Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, and Schubert we are the most famous living composers. We often talk about classical music, classical music, meaning European music, which is not pop music or jazz or folk music. It is music which has been written by composers who have studied the art of composition. The article classical music talks about classical music in this sense, okay? So uh, this brings us to the importance of writing down the music. And so from this we, have this song. we now know uh, hey. Hello. So we 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 realize how important it is to write music down. You know, whatever you wrote down, if you kept if you preserve it well. Uh, years after years, you will still have access to it. 
and so but if 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 somebody if somebody else wrote down and you don't know how to read it it doesn't make sense to you so that is the the essence of us now learning the science part of this thing we are talking about and that science is the notation of music how to write music and this was where we were last week this was i mean was it on tuesday this was where we were on Tuesday, and so we will just me, at that again today. We will start uh, Please mute your microphone. Mute your microphone before you talk to that person you are talking to. <laughs> so, um, we're looking at, uh, my God, who is that? Sonny? So, um, we're looking at music theory. Lesson one, the music staff and notes. So, we said that music is written down in a, a number of different ways around the world. In the Western world, instruments use a method called staff notation. Staff notation. We did this last week, but we are going to, uh, el you know, elaborate on it more today. Staff notation. Now, the music staff or stave is made up of five horizontal lines. Five horizontal lines. Which are these? Five horizontal lines. <coughs> Now, that, those five horizontal lines, I told us uh, on Tuesday that they don't make sense if you just let them be like that. If you just create them and just allow them be, uh, you know, on that format, the five horizontal lines or the five parallel lines. You know, anybody who sees them will always call them lines and spaces. You know, but these are basically what we need to uh, begin our foray into the world of music, All right? I'm going to share this with you now so that uh, while I'm talking to you, it makes sense. I've, I'm hearing some people now who are moaning. They don't moan. Um, we'll get there gradually. By the grace of God, we'll be patient enough. Everybody must know it in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. So just amen. So we know it now. This I want to share with you is the five, the five parallel lines here. <laughs> so these are the lines. Can you see it clearly? <laughs> Can you see the lines? My phone is not connected. Here. Your phone is not connected, but I can hear your voice. <laughs> so it's connected. Find if you are looking for your camera, look for it very well. You're, you are connected. I can hear you. And since I can hear you, you are connected. Hmm. So here are the five uh, horizontal lines and the five spaces. As it looks, this way it is now, it is not ma making sense. It, it, you know, it is just not more than lines and spaces. Now, but this is where the whole thing begins. If we don't have this, we don't have music. And so, even when you have it this way, you can see my screen. If you, even if you have it this way, where my mouse is hovering about now, if you have it that way still, you don't have anything that makes, it doesn't make sense. It is just that some uh, artwork are uh, placed on lines and spaces. So 
It is said there that on the music staff, notes are placed on the lines. Yeah, these are the notes. But if you just leave it this way, it doesn't make sense. It cannot be called anything. It's going to this place. So now we, we have what we call clef. This clef, there are two. There are two types. We have the treble clef, which is this, this one. And you have the bass clef. Now, the treble clef is called the, the G clef. Either of the, of the clefs have two names. The treble clef is called the G clef. G clef. Now, this is what will give name or give definition to the five lines that I showed you earlier on. Now, the G clef is drawn in a way that it starts like a circle that is called around the second line. Now, remember the lines are counted, they are numbered from the lowest to the highest. It starts from the number one, the down one is the number one, just as if you are counting the steps to your, your, your room upstairs. You start from the first, the first step. So the first line is the, the, you know, the, the lower line is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, to the last one, you call the last floor, the last step that takes you to the floor you are going to. That is the fifth one. So the G clef is drawn, is circled perfectly between the third line and the, the first line. Then it is called around the second line. You know, formerly all these long designs are not there, but it just as music, as word, it, it, the word advances, everything is being modernized. You know, so formerly it was not like this. The only thing you need to identify it used to be this thing. Once it is called around like this, uh, up to this level, you you will able, be able to define it. So. Once you place this staff, this clef on this staff, you are defined these five lines. Once you place this clef on this second line, then you have been able to define this line. And the definition now that you're giving it is that this is the G clef that is written on the, on the second line, which means that that second line is the G line. And so from here, you can go up, and from here, you can come down. And in music, we have about uh, uh, eight alphabets, so seven actually, but eight begins the cycle. And so if this, if this line is G, it means that the, this, the space, because we cannot leave the space out, is a you have music starts from a to g and you go back again to a okay so the line now is g the space is a let me let me share this other screen with you if the line is a the space is g the next line automatically will be a will be b and so on and so forth So um, here we are. So we are in uh, line and spaces. You can see this. What I showed you earlier was having five lines and four spaces. And so I was saying that every one of those lines has a name. And you don't know the name until the clef is placed on the right line. And so here we have the G clef placed on the second line. Okay, let's use here. On the, on the second line, this is the first line. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Unfortunately, I cannot magnify this thing beyond this, this size it is. And I believe you can see it. All right. 
so this is the first the first line now when you when you come from the second line which is g and you you, you count backwards after g in english you have f and then after f you have e which means that the first line of these five parallel lines is e the second line is g the third line is b the fourth line is D, and the last line, which is the fifth line, is F. So as it yeah. is, when you have E, alphabetically, you go alphabetically now, when you have E, the next thing you have, which is the space, that space will be F. Now after F, you have a line, which is G. After G, you have a space, which is A. After A, you have another line, which is B. The next space is C. The next line is B. The other one is E. The last space is E. And then the last line is F. I'll take it again. I'll take it again. Now, the lines, the first line is E. The second line is G. The third line is B. The fourth line is D. And the last line is F. Yeah. So when you separate them together, what you have is these are the lines. Here, yeah, these are the names of the lines. This place that you have my mouse hovering over now. This place you have my mouse hovering is the definition of the five lines is E, G, B, D, F. E, G, B, D, F. E, G, B, D, F. I will, <clears throat> I will uh, encourage you to write it down for those of you that are starting <clears throat> from the very, uh, very first, uh, from the very beginning. Now, we used to call, we used to coin uh, some kind of um, funny okay. things around it. Acronym. If somebody has a question. Acronym. It's acronym. Yes, uh, acronym. Somebody is reading, sister. Do you have a question? If you have a question, unmute yourself and ask the question, or you type it in. Okay, while we continue the, the acronym, thank you, Daddy. Uh, yes, this place we, we, we say every good boy deserves uh, favor. favor. Yes, but what you have here is every good boy deserves football. Now you can just read anything that you can you can remember anything you can remember, you know, every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy deserves favor. Deserves favor. Yes, you take that down. Every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy deserves. Favor. The question I want to ask. Okay. The question I want to ask is. That every good boy de uh, deserves football. Is it from Dan? Like, yeah. can we still count it from up? Uh, uh, from from Dan? Dan? No, from down to up. No, uh, okay, hold Dan on, please. Up. She's asking me. So let me answer her, please. Okay. Okay, now, so. you know, I, I started by saying that the lines are numbered from the very first one, the very lowest line. The okay, line that is from the treble clef. Even the, the bass clef. All, all the lines are numbered from from the very lowest one, all right? Okay. And now we are, we are looking at the, the treble staff here. And so the first line is number one. So you count them upwards. So the first one is the E. The second one is the G. The third one is the B. The fourth one is the D. And the last one is F. So it goes like that, E, G, B, D, F. It ascends. Mm -hmm. In that form, if you want to come down, then you will, you will, you know, have to uh, name them accordingly. It will be F D B G E, but going up is E G B D F. Do you understand now? Yes, sir. Very good. So, you know, having explained this very, you know, to us now, then it means that the spaces also will not be left vacuum. Now, if you have E, in, in English alphabet, after E, 
the next letter f so you just you know with your uh your intellect you know that after you have f and uh, since we said that there is no h in english in music there's no h it starts from a to g so when you get to e after you have f and after f the next alphabet in english is g and since there is no h in 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 music you go back to a so that means that the next space here is a and that's why you have b as the third line b as the third line then after b you have c as the third space you have c as the third space and d as the fourth line and then e as the last space and so when you put them together, what you have is face, F-A-C-E, -E, face, F-A-C-E, -E, face. Now, if you have a question on this, ask me before I do a recap. F-A-C-E, -E, face. If you have a question on this, ask me before I do a recap. Yes, I have a question. Please. Ask. The F. The F. The F, as in the F. Where are we going to place the F? Very good. The, you, you, you have on the first line. The first line you have is what? What's the, the first letter of the first line? The letter of the first line. The letter of the first line, E. E, right? Yeah. Okay. So that F, you will place this in the space. You know, we have five, five lines. And in between yes, those sir. five lines, you have five spaces. Let me, let me bring it up oh, again. Sir. Let me bring it up again. I made mistake four. <laughs> okay, so here we are now. This, these are the lines and spaces. Let me use empty one here these are the lines and spaces so can you see my you see my mouse yes sir okay now this is the first line right now yes. after this first line you see the space the space is this vacuum between the first and the second line yes sir that is called the space so this space now once your first line is e the space is not vacuum it's not empty something must be there so as you, you read in English, E, so the space now will take the position of F. When you leave the first space, the second line is G. So after, okay. after the G, the next space is A. 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 Because we don't have H. We don't have H in music. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> that that mm, sounds like in a while. Don't worry, you. <laughs> okay, you forget it. Don't, don't, don't just give up. You will get it. Okay, I think uh, I think you can see you can see this one clearer, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. See now, this is the first line here. This is the first line, which is E. The second line is G. The third line is, is B. The fourth line is D. The last line, the fifth line is F. So you see in the space now, the first space, sorry, the first space here, this first space here is the F because the line is E. The space must have a name. So you spell the space as F. So once you leave the space, the next thing you, you see is the line, the second line, which is G. Then after this second line, the next thing you have is the second space. It will now become A. It will not be H. There's no H in music. Okay? So, so what you have is E, F, G, H, no H. There's no H. H. Uh, there's no H. So, um, okay, I think I, I will allow everybody unmute yourself. 
Let's read it together because I've just had H now. Now you have E, F, G, A, G, B, C, A, D, D, E, C, e, and F. F. Sir, please come again. I will ask you now, what is the first line? E. E. E, e very good. E. What is the first space? F. 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 Is that clear? Yes. Sister that is asking question, do you understand? No, sir. I don't understand. <laughs> just the before before the one you just said now, before the E. You uh, said the uh, okay, like please let me to call it again. E F G A. Okay. Now can you see can you see this e that is here can you see my mouse can you see my mouse no i cannot i cannot see it oh, oh yeah it. bold it, it. Bold it. it's bold enough it's shake very bold go ahead and shake it shake the mouse I, I've from shaken. her side from her side shake the mouse a bit yes i am i am shaking the mouse mm. Okay. Okay, sir. But can you see the first line? Yes, sir. Can you see the E? Can you see E? That means we need for another device that can. Can anybody see my mouse? Hello. Hi. Can you see my mouse? Yes. I can't see your mouse, but I'm understanding the You can't see my mouse. I cannot, but... I cannot see the mouse. But, but see. do you see the lines and spaces? Yes, I yes. see the lines and spaces. You see the lines and spaces? Yes. Do, you, do you see the E? Do you see where E is written uh, on the screen? No, sir. No E. No E. Yes, you only you only said on the music staff notes are placed on the lines. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, you only see on the music line. No, no that's on the line. line. Because the hello, this this these guys and spaces here don't have a, a key a key something signal to show. So so this okay, let me okay let, let me try this. Yes, I can see you. Don't worry, let, let, let me let me share it again. Probably something was was a me, something was wrong. <laughs> now, can you see it now? <clears throat> what is on the screen is different from what you are telling what us. Are what, what, yes. Okay, can you read for me what is on the screen? You uh, bought his music and uh, two notation continues. I don't know. Formation of flat keys. Yes. Showing us uh, what is music. Uh, formation of flat like keys. Like it's from your laptop. Maybe like quick access desktop. Download all those things. Please. Learning. What is music? Even, even, even now. Even now. What are yes. you now? You are still the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. The same thing, sir. Wow. That's that is an error. Maybe we have to leave the meeting and reconvene. Uh, <laughs> somebody uh, somebody uh, sounding tired. Hold yeah. on, uh, oh, no, hold no, on. No. no, not tired. <laughs> daddy, Daddy Larry. No. Okay, um, now what, what do you see on my screen now? 
Same this, thing. The same thing you're seeing now. Yes, sir. Sir, you you have a you you are showing us a, an icon that have what is music, formation of keys, a notation, something like that. PDF, PDF is just maybe <laughs> the programs you have run, the one you open and it you begin to teach us. So that is what I am seeing on my. Yeah. That's that is the same thing I'm seeing. That was his experience there too. That's what is displaying the the programs like you have a, a, a files manager home share view. That's what is on the screen, sir. Okay. Mm. It's, it's a bit strange anyway, but okay. Let me. Like a, what do you have on your PDF? What is what is showing you? Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are you are still seeing the PDF. Yes. yes understanding the music understanding okay Wonderful. Sir Christy, how are you, beloved? Well, beloved, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> how are well, you? I'm fine, ma. Okay, I'm a candy with you. I say, ma. All right. <laughs> Mommy. We are right. blessed. Um, this big cup. I, I think I'm having a, a, a software problem here. Yes. I'm having I a sense. software issue here because I've I've closed other other things, but it's still showing you the old one. So you you are still seeing the same thing you were seeing before right now. See, Ritz, is it? Yes, I'm seeing you. You are seeing me now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't want you to see me now. I want you to see what I really want to show. Sure. Let's see what the what yeah. can you see now? We are seeing right up. Yes, we see the no, it's 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 not the showing great, the great the great sea. Okay, okay, uh, okay, very right good. Up. Very good. That, mm -hmm. that is what I want you to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so the, the this was where yeah, I was yes. actually showing you. So you can yes. see this one clearly, clear enough, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, my sister that was asking question, can you see E now? Can you see E? Yes. Yes. And uh, so after E, you look towards the right. It might be your left. Now you see F. Mm. Okay. So the first line is E. Mm. Just like when you are climbing your, your staircase, you have the edge of the staircase and you have where you, you place your foot on the staircase. Yes, I saw it. Now, they are all part of the staircase. You don't count one out. So this is the line and this is the space. The E is the line and the, is the first line. So you cannot jump the space and go to the next line. You must take notice of the space. First because line. You take notice of the first line and the space. So when you look at the space, the space is F. Okay. The space is F. So if the first line is E, the first space is F. The second line is G. And if the second line is G, please can somebody tell me? Uh, my, that my sister asked a question. You are the one I want to. I want you to answer now. Since there is no H in music, what then is the second space? T. No, after G, you mm. go back to the beginning. What, what, I said mm. this starts from A to G. A. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Mm. Now, after A, which is the second space, what is this line, the third line? D. No. 
After after A, B, B, B. now what, what do you count next? After A, what do you count next? C, B, C, B, B now C, B. is B, just like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You go back to A again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so you have okay. E, the first line, the space is F. The next line is G. The second mm -hmm. space is A. The third mm -hmm. line is B. What is the space here? Now after B, what is this space? C. Good. C. So after C, what do you have? The line, what do you have? D. 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 Then D. what is this, the last space? E. e. Good. And the last line? F. F. God bless you. So it means that... F. You, you know, now that you have known them, for you to understand it very well, you now have to separate the alphabets of the lines. Write them separately. You have the alphabets of the lines are E, G, B, D, F. I take it again. E, G, B, D, F. Okay, now the space, the spaces are F, A, C, E. Um, yes, you are saying it now, okay. So, now I was saying that you, you separate your, the lines, the names of the lines, separate them E, G, B, G, F. And you form an acronym that you will remember. The common one is your mic. Mute your mic, please. Mute your microphone. Mute your microphone. Okay. Uh -huh. right. So now you see me writing E. G. E, Yes. B on the lines. Yes. D. D. This is V. Don't mind me the way it is looking now. Then F. Okay. Now, so these are the ones on the lines. Then the spaces, you have F. F. Yeah. C. Then E. You got it. So the spaces, you can easily remember that by just calling the spaces face. Face. F A C E. Face. F A C E. Face. Okay. Now, the lines, every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy every deserves good boy. favor. Every good boy deserves favor. Deserves favor. Then, the spaces, space. I don't want to, I don't want to take us to the second, this thing now, I don't want to take us to the second um, uh, staff now, the base staff, so that we can, this one we simmer in very, very well, so that you can understand this very, very well. This is, okay, this, one. this one is the this treble one, staff. Yeah. You want to ask question? Yeah, this one now is the treble and auto staff. Uh, it is just called the treble staff. This one now, where we are now, uh, this one. This stuff yes. now that has that has that. Uh, let me see if I can draw it. That has. Uh, okay, let's let's clean this. That has something like this. Uh, let me show you something. I I can't see your screen now. Now this is this is it. Can you see this one? Okay, 
let, let me come again. Can you see this? Can you see my page now? Yes, yes, sir, yes. Uh -huh. This is what is that this yeah. is the thing that defines treble staff. Clef. Okay. And this is the clef that defines treble staff. Okay? okay. So, but in the in, in the kind of uh, song that we do this day, it now contains both treble and auto, auto parts. It's actually called uh, uh, reduction. It is, it is when it is reduced to that, you know, it is choir reduction and template. You know, so this is treble clef. Anywhere you see it, it's treble clef. As when it is not classical, both treble and also parts are written together under this staff. So we will talk about this clef, but not today. I want to uh, take questions. If there are questions, let me take questions before I give my final note. Somebody is watching movie. <laughs> so do we have anybody that has a question? If you have a question, If you have a question, you can unmute yourself. Unmute yourself and uh, ask the question. No question, I guess. No question. I have question. OK. I have question. Is that Christy OB? Yes, sir, OK. Question. I don't know how to put it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Should I, should I ask my question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, the question I want to ask is based on that you have shown all treble clefs. Yes. Eh? Yes. And uh, according to the Latin, what I saw in the screen, it has five lines. Yes. Uh -huh. And four spaces. So in that, in that line E, we have E. The first line. E. The first line the is, yes, the first line is E. Okay. Then the space, you say the space in that E is F. A, F, F, or what? Yes, the okay. space that is next to E is F. Okay. That is okay. the proper, the proper way to call it is the first, the, the first, first space. space. Are you there? Okay. Mm, you, okay. Since the, the E yes, is sir, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Continue. Okay. And, and that is how other, other lines have faces. Yes. You count like E, F. Eh? Yes. Hello, sir. Are I you can hear you. I, I am here. Uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. E, F, G. You said there's nothing like H, ba? Yes. No H. <laughs> okay. 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 I understand, sir. Okay. Now. I understand. Finally, let me do something. Can, can you see this whiteboard? Are you seeing white? Yes, sir. Board? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Maybe we should draw it. Now, this is, yes, the, sir. This is the first yes, line. Eh? This is the first line. Okay. This okay. is the second line. Eh? You, you yes, notice sir. that between this line and this line, there is a space, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I put the third yes, line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The third line. Now, this is another space, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the fourth okay. line. Okay. Yes, sir. And this is the fifth line. Uh -huh. The fifth line. Okay. So you count one, two, three, four. Let me number them. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, okay. four, okay. five. Now, five. you know, uh, if, if you spread out your fingers, if you spread out yes, your sir. five fingers, uh, do it now. Yes, 
do it. Now, count, count the holes in between your fingers. Count it and, and let me know how many. When you spread forth your five okay. fingers. Okay. One, two, uh, three, four. Four, four. Four spaces. Four spaces. Just like, yes, just spaces. use your five fingers as the five lines. Uh, okay. And yeah. the, the, your, the four spaces in your, between your five fingers are the spaces yeah. in this, yes, on this staff now. So let's yeah. take it that this is a treble staff. Okay. And, uh, okay. Uh, is a treble staff. Now I have numbered okay. the spaces. I've numbered the spaces. I've numbered the lines. So we say that okay. the, the first line is the, the, the lowest one. Yes, I'm telling you. Which is E. Uh, okay. Now, yes, ju just your, your, your smallest finger. Uh, mm -hmm. Take your smallest finger as the first line, which is E. Okay. Uh, then the space between your smallest finger and your next, yes. your, your ring finger. Uh, is the first space, which is okay. F. Yes, because in English, yeah. in English alphabet, after E, you count F, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the next line now, which is your 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 ring finger now, your wedding ring yes, finger, uh, is yes, G. Sir. Yes, sir. G. Okay. Now okay. that space after your wedding ring finger is uh -huh. A because there is no H. You go back to okay. A. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Now after yes, A, the, the third is it? What, what is it? Is it the index finger now? What is sure. it called now? Uh, the third finger now. The third, the third finger. finger. The yes, third the finger. finger. That one. The, that place they put uh, engagement ring. Okay. Ring. Uh, that's the third. Your third finger, which is the yes, third sir. line. Hmm? Is B. B. Yes, sir. So, the next space, yes, which is the third space, yes, sir. is C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your your the fourth finger now should be what? D now. D. A B C. F. Yes. D. Uh -huh. The last space is E, and the your F. your thumb your thumb, which is the last line. Your thumb. Yes, the last line is F. 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 So uh, as you count it now, you count E for the first space, F. Mm -hmm. E for the first line, F for the first F. space. Space. G for the second line, A for the mm -hmm. second space. Yes, B for the third line, C for the third space. D okay. for the fourth line, E for the fourth space, F for the fifth line. You see that I, I numbered them. Yes, sir. I yes, number sir. the lines and I number the spaces. So for the lines, you now separate them and uh, put them together like this. E, what is the next line? What's the line? What's the name of the, the, the other one? C. What, what, what's the name of the, the second line? line? The line, the, the line, the, the second line. Okay, second line is D. Huh? D. Is G, 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 yes, G. Sir. Yes, sir. G. G. The third line is what? D. Huh? D. That's B for boy. Yes. The fourth line is what? D. The fourth D. line is... D G. for dog. Dog. The last line is what? F. 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 Yes, sir. F for favor. Huh? Favor. Yes, sir. So this, this are the line, the names for the lines. Yes, sir. The name for the lines. Then the, the spaces. Mm. The treble staff. Yes, yes on the sir. treble staff, please. The spaces. Yes, the first space is F. The second space is A. A. What is the third? What is the third space? C. C. Huh? C. 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 
What is the last space? E. 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 Very good. So now, and I said that you can now form a song, you can, or a short word acronym that you can remember yourself. The most popular one for the lines is every, every good boy. Wet. Every good boy deserves boy. favor. favor. Every good boy Best. deserves favor. Right? Deserves favor. Yes. Is it my own favor? Uh, it can be your own favor, anyone. <laughs> then uh, then uh, the the other one, the the spaces, F A C E. That one is face. Okay. Face. Face. F A C E. Face. F A C E. Face. F -A -C -E. face. Every good boy deserves food. Every good boy deserves food. Every good boy deserves football. Eh? Please, the question I wanted to ask before. Uh, before my daughter finished. Uh, in that um, uh, in that stuff, that trouble stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. And they like beside this, there is something that sometimes they used to write like B, like three B or four or half semi. I don't know. Well, that, okay. that one is... We have not got into that level. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have not got into that level. You know, yeah, it's like uh, jumping to primary two without finishing primary one. <laughs> you get it. So we, we will get to that place. If you, well, when I am certain that everybody has gotten this place, this one very, very well, then we will go to that place. I think uh, what I may do is, um, I was thinking that two, twice in a week would be enough, but like, uh, it may not be enough. Okay, uh, I, I will think of something to do. So, um, do we uh, all do we all understand I, this one? Somebody's talking. Christy, you're yes, talking. Sir, yes, sir. I've, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, yes, I've gotten sir. Yes, sir. You've gotten this one. Have you gotten this yes, one? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello. God bless you. Can, can, uh, you, can you see? You can you see, still hear me because like, my video is off. Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. Somebody said hello. Is, who is that? Yes. Okay. Sister. Have you been hearing my voice, sir? Uh, you, 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 you want to ask a question? No. It shows that when others are participating, I can't hear myself now. Uh, if you didn't hear yourself, that, but you can hear us now. Yes, it's now that I started here. Uh, maybe you didn't connect well. You didn't connect uh, by calling over internet. It's very important. Once you enter, the first thing to do is to join with audio by calling over internet. There are always two options. One is dial in. The other one is call over internet. So and I I, I, I did. It. Mm, if you if you did it well, may, maybe it's your connection. But I think if you've done it well, you must you must hear everybody, and everybody will hear you when you talk. So now that you are hearing us, that means you've done it well. Mm. All right. Thank you. Sir. Thank you very much. Um, is there any other person that has question before we we close for tonight? We've done almost two hours. Any more question? Okay, I think uh, I am going to I'm going to uh, post in something here to be sure that we have we um, we grab this one that we did. I'm I'm going to send us a question in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Yes, I will send you okay, a question sir. in the WhatsApp group. You will you will. Uh, yeah. You will, you will, I think what you will do is when you see the question, you answer it on a, a on a, a sheet of paper, 
and capture it with your camera as well. And don't send it to the group. Okay. Don't send it to the group. Send it to me okay. privately. Send to me privately. Okay. okay. Very How good. How do we okay. do that, sir? I, I will send it to the group. You will you will see it. You will read it. You'll be able to read it. And then you, okay. you take another paper and answer the question. After, uh, after writing it down on a paper, then you capture it with your camera. When you capture it with your camera, you send it to me as WhatsApp, a WhatsApp message. You can do that now. It's very easy, right? OK. Yes, sir. All right. So um, okay. <laughs> having done that, I think we will call it a quit. We'll call it quits tonight. Um, All right. Us. Uh, God has helped us. I'm sorry for the breaking. It's due to um, the fact that we have not subscribed. Okay. But, uh, you know, going to bank these days is very, very, uh, is, is like going to hell in Lagos. So, mm -hmm. but I'm going to see what to do to, to settle that. So that is it, by the way. Remember, every good boy deserves favor, deserves food, deserves football and face so we're going to take care of other things um if it is possible we, we can yeah. come yes sir. yes juliet uh, yes sir please um before you hello sir i can hear you uh, please before you um uh, stop me can you please do a little preview on the on, the, on what? On like the like from the starting to just a little preview so that the test will not pay. <laughs> uh, you 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 will not fail, you will not fail the test. It's, it's not it's not difficult. It's not it, you know today we today we looked at music. What, what is music? And we said that music is um is an art. And it's a science. And the part no, of it, check it tonight and make noise. Uh, part of it that is a, is an art is the the doing side of it, the performance of it, like the singing, the playing of the instruments, that is the art of music. Then the science part of music is the knowledge of it, which is what we are learning today, knowing um about music the you know the rudiments of music the knowledge of music now that is part of it and then we we talked about the the uh, evolution of music by time and okay before that we talked about we said that music is a combination of sounds certain sounds that are regular and that makes sense, well-organized sounds that make sense, that is pleasant to the ear of the hearers. You know, because if you, if you say it is sounds and words, some sounds are not musical, some sounds are noise. Like I give an example of you, while you're in your kitchen, you drop your frying pan on the floor. It will make baga, 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 baga. that is not music, it is noise. All right, and uh, nice. um, All right. and uh, children can be playing and be shouting. Uh, if it's not regulated, somebody's if microphone is on. So, if when when children are playing and uh, making noise, that cannot be, you know, music in nature. So, music is a combination of regular sounds that gives pleasant, uh, you know, suiting to the ear of the hearers. Then we talked about the evolution of music that it evolves from the, the you know, uh, the time when men are not, were not writing music, but they were doing music. And those music that were done in those years, uh, the, those years, I called them a name, I gave you a name of it. I gave you the name of, of that year, which I called, uh, hold on, let me, let, let me give you the right name. 
right? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, somebody is still coming in by now. I said prehistoric, isn't it? Yes, sir. Prehistoric. I yeah. Um, thank you very much. You see, we have a very good student in the house. So yeah, the uh, prehistoric is the time before men began to write down uh, music. Now you you discover that uh, there are ancient houses that men built, but because uh, and uh, you know some of them outlived time, but some of the music, most of the music, or all all the music that we are reading. Um, before men began to write music down, we are lost because they didn't write it down. So that brought us to the time we are in now that we've come to understand that writing of music is very, very important. Number one, it preserves the music that was done. Secondly, it gives opportunity to other persons to be able to perform that music that was written no matter when the music was written as long as that person you know has knowledge of music making noise. Making noise. as long as that person has knowledge of music he can be able to perform the music and so that brought us to music notation and in music notation, we were able to look at the five empty lines, parallel lines that has four spaces. And I told the person that asked question, instead you will forget it, use your five fingers. Now you name the smallest finger E, name the second one, your wedding ring finger, name it G, the, the engagement finger, name it B, the I think this is the index finger. Name it um, E, uh, D, D, and this is your thumb. Name your thumb. Oh. Your thumb. Name it F, F for food, F for favor, F for football, F for anything that stands for F. Then spaces. You also have one, two, three, four. So you name this one. F again, A, C, E. So these four spaces face this every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy deserves favor. Then the spaces F, A, C, E, just, you know, like that. And don't forget to number the lines and spaces for you to remember them just as I did on the whiteboard. Number the lines and the spaces. And more importantly, the lines and spaces are useless, that don't make sense if there is no cleft placed on it. And I told you that the treble cleft is also called the G cleft. And it is what defines the lines because the, the, the treble cleft is written calling the, uh, the what, what will I call it now? You know, calling the the um, the cleft firmly round the second line on the five lines. It is placed in between the first line and the third line. You know, it occupies the space, but it is firmly wrapped around the second line. And once it is placed there, it defines that staff as treble staff and then gives that line the name that it, you know, it bears, which is the G. So from there now, you'll be able to name the other lines and the other spaces. So this is uh, basically what we have done. And um, I think that uh, you understand now. Julius, do you understand? 
uh, I can't on, I can't hear you because I I mute you. you can unmute yourself now mute yourself. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, I understand now, sir. You understand? Okay. Yes, so sir. if I send in this test, you won't fail, Abby. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Yes, so. God bless you. Hope nobody has question. No other person has question. All right. So at this juncture, we bring the class to an end. And I want to say, God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I'm, I'm going to post the next link and the date in the in the group i'm actually disappointed with the number of persons i see today again but it is well it is okay so i will see you next meeting huh? when is our next meeting because uh, you say something that two two it, days in a week cannot it, be enough it is supposed to be tuesday our next meeting is supposed to be tuesday but if if anything can happen yes it, so definitely we have seen tuesday and sunday Maybe I'll find one day again that I can squeeze in. So thank you and God bless you. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Sleep tight. All right. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.